Hi there. Welcome to Brilliant Maths, where every student has an opportunity to learn and excel in math and where math is fun. If you pay attention, you will actually understand. This is an additional math topic or elective math, as it's called in some curriculum. Tangents and normals is under calculus, under differentiation. We have looked at the meaning of tangents and normals in one of our previous lessons. If you haven't seen that video, please look for it. And visit our website. We have lots and lots of resources for you there. Videos, lessons, exercises, and even books. Tangents and normals. Find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve y is equal to 5x minus 3 over x at the point where x equals 1. I want us to go through the steps on how to find the equation of the tangent and the normal. The first step is, do you have the coordinates of the point? The second step, find the y dx for the curve you are given because that will be your gradient. And then the gradient at the point that's in indicated. So when you find that gradient, then you can use that gradient to find the equation of the tangent. And of course, you can use the same gradient to find the gradient of the normal, because the normal and the tangent are perpendicular. So the gradient of the normal will be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent. You have the point. You have already found the y coordinates of the point. So you have the point. So with the point and the gradient, you can find the equation of both lines. So let's go. So first step, y is equal to 5x minus 3 over x at, or let's say when, when x is equal to 1, what is the value of y? Because I want to get the coordinate of the point. When x is 1, y will be 5. 5 times 1 is 5 minus 3. So y will be equal to 2. So the point will be 1, 2. We're finding the gradient, the equation of the gradient and the normal at the point y. We're finding the equation of the tangent and the normal at the point 1, 2. So that's the exact point. So the next step, our dy dx is the gradient, which will be 5 minus, if I take that up, it will be minus, it will be x to the power minus 1. So by the time I differentiate, I would have 3 times minus 1, x to the power minus 2. I hope you can see that. I skipped a step there, but I hope you understand. So this becomes, our dy dx is 5 minus plus 3, because minus times minus is plus, plus 3 over x squared. So that's the y dx. So when x is 1 and y is 2, the value of the y dx, which will be our gradient, the gradient of the tangent, will be 5 plus 3, which is 8, because the value of x is 1. So we substitute 1. 1 squared is 1. So the value will be 8. So gradient gradient of tangent is equal to 8. That implies that the gradient of the normal at that same point the gradient of the normal will be negative 1 
over 8. So let's then finally write out the equation of the tangent and the equation of the normal using the gradients. So equation of tangent will be equal to y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Our gradient for the tangent is 8. The point is x equal to 1 and y equal to 2. So we're going to substitute that into this. And we get our equation to be y minus y1 is 2 is equal to 8 into x minus x1 is 1. And then our equation will be y is equal to 8x minus 8 plus 2. So the equation of the tangent will be equal to y is equal to 8x minus 6. Next is to find the equation of the normal. And I'm going to leave that to you. Finish it out and let's know what you get. Remember, we already have the gradient of the normal. It's minus 1 over 8. So all that is changing here is m is changing from 8 to negative 1 over 8. You are using the same point where x is 1 and y is 2. Finish that off and you'll be happy. Let me know the answer you get. And always remember that maths is fun and you can excel in it. Visit our website. There are lots and lots of resources for you. Meet you during the next lesson.